What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of Dreamfall Chapters. Um, when I left off, I couldn't get this to work. The dark. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. And I just got it to work, so let's get it in. Let's get it. Let's get it in. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. You gotta help him. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. No problem, bruh. I got you. Um, let's turn up. There you go. See? There you go, bruh. See? All this time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. Can you please help me find my way? I got you with the it's obviously this big ass bright circle. Select destination for the man. Alright, man. Go Walk to the, into the light. light. Walk into the light. Don't worry, not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. <laughs> Dude thought he was dead. <laughs> you. He's straight, bruh. All right, cool. So, is this whole game just me helping people through their dreams, or is there like more to it? I feel like there's a lot more to it. Can I walk out there now? I gotta go to unknown. What is that? A bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. What? What does that mean? What are you doing? Get away from there! Oh, little kid. Shout out to all the little kids, you feel me? <laughs> Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. Right. She's Damn, you scared, can, you can but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. She, she's already scared, but she, she's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. Oh, damn. Damn, and this game is super in, like, in, uh, detail. Like, even Walking Dead and shit don't give you both options. Like, she she's talks to scared, you. She's already scared, but she... She's scared enough already. Paul. What should I do? She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She does need to understand that. It is that. dangerous and it will hurt you unless we destroy it. I want to go home. And you will. But the way back is through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night. And tells me to behave. Or should unlock it and let the monster have me? Great parenting. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me. I promise. Are you like a superhero? Yep. Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. 
All right, let me say this little girl real fast. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. All right, so. Nope, 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 nope. What you mean, nope? There ain't nothing else for me to do here. If the wardrobe door opens and Kraken crawls out, dream or no dream, I'm not sticking around for that. All right, so I need to back up then. Use the light on his light ass. could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. All right, what about your mind? Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. True, that would be a bad idea. Um, what the hell, time? Time's not really helping much, is it? Man, this thing keeps losing control and it's driving me crazy. I don't know if it's this fucking controller or it's just a game. Alright, let's use time and then let's use... Let's touch it. Can't touch it. So, use the light? No. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Alright, so I lit up the little girl. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Alright, so let me light up the little girl again. And then I'm gonna go touch this fool. Oh, ten to no. Nope. No, 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 okay. Um I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. She she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Alright, so she lost her flashlight, is what I'm thinking. And I think I just found it. No? Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Light, light that shit up then. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Alright, cool. Do I use it? Press X to use it. Alright. But I want to point it at this fool. Torch. Flashlight. Beacon. I want to... <laughs> That's crazy. As soon as you shine the light, he go away. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's see what I could do now, though. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. Maybe I Whoever wired her. her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Ah, oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. Not for long, as soon as I put that time shit on his ass. Come back out, bruh. Damn. Alright, so maybe I should hit the time. Then shine this on your ass. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought, see? <laughs> Got them dream skills for that ass. Alright, now we're good. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Alright, so where's the dream key? Didn't she say her mom took it? Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. I realize that, but how are we gonna get in here? I need a key to open this. I also realize that, but where the hell are we gonna get the key from? Zoe? Or Zoe? What the hell is that? Oh, that's my phone. Hold on. <laughs> I'm back. I'm Bizak. And the stupid ass controller just disconnected again.
I swear it's not the game though. This game is too polished for it to be the game. It's gotta be this fucking controller. This cord. Alright, Dreaming Girl. We need a key, Dreaming Girl. How do I put this flashlight away though? I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. How do I get to that inventory again? Okay, we want to put the... Can I put this flashlight away? Or do I have to keep it out? I obviously have to keep it out. I just don't know where I'm supposed to be getting this key. Oh! There's the key. Got something. A key. Alright. Well, we straight then. I need a key to open this. You got the key, bitch. What the fuck you mean? Oh, I gotta put it in my hand. Now that's a proper key. I can't remember the last time I used one. I barely remember how they work. I can tell. I need a key to open this. Open this fucking door. There you go. No, don't get too close. <laughs> it will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. No problem. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... It's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. <laughs> then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never, ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Tell your Daddy. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Alright. I think I saved the little girl's future, honestly. <laughs> this has to stop. Alright, cool. So her name is Zoe. Because it's got the little two dots over the E. I don't know how that works. Who's this old man down here? He looks lightweight creepy from far away. And he What's is. What's going on out there? <laughs> more and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and it's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Alright, home or loss? Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. And All loss. I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. Huh. I don't know which one to pick. Home? All I once had is gone forever. Maybe What's lost. there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I'm a thread without a spool. Oh, for God's sake, I'm starting to talk like you. What I mean is, I don't have a home. I have nothing out there and... No one. I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just... Abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But... That's I'm... true. What's the point? There are no second chances. 
Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. Um. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. What's the point? I don't know. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and I'm powerless. There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Who? Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly... He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. Isn't it... I'm gonna say who? Who needs me? All who live, who have lived, and who will live. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. Um. And this fucking controller stopped working again. Hold up. He's up. This is my choice to make. Even if I don't know the consequences, I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by- This is- Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you. All the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. You know, that's true. Very true. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. Okay, so I go back, face the world face myself so what do you need me to do i want you to wake up and remember and then i want you to save save the world <laughs> i did such a bang up job with that the last time around you changed everything that story had a beginning and an end but it was also only the first half of your story how do i wake up there is a door find the door and unlock it and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. I knew it was within, within her. Within you. I knew it. I'll just have to trust you on that. <gasps> will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll um go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. Alright. Thanks, old wise man. Let me go, uh, wake my ass up. <laughs>
Damn, we had 21 minutes. I need to pause this. Hold up. Let's see where we at. All right. Back at the hospital. I got to find the door, right? I'm going to pause this episode here. And then I'm going to go find this door. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for showing love in the comments. And next episode, I'm going to find the dough and get my ass up out of dreamland. So, uh, I, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks.